Hi, my name is Moala, and in this tutorial, I would like to speak about custom list view swipe. Let's look at the final result. As you see, a list of simple text items. When I swipe on one of them from right to left, let's see what happens. I can see two buttons here. Nothing happens. And when I click on delete, I can see that number 17 is deleted. And for example, if that is open and I scroll up, first it closes that one. Or for example, that is open and I click on another item, first it closes that one, which is open. For more information about this library and actually this class, you can refer to this topic in before a forum and as you see the latest version is this one and you can download you know the sample here for before a and before i let's see how to create something like this in basic for android this is an empty project but i added that class which I downloaded from this topic, as I told you, from here, you need to download this class and you need to add it to your project. And libraries, you need, of course, you need custom list view and this one for this class. As you see, we need it, uh, let's see, here or here we need views library so let me activate that again okay i have one layout and it has only one simple custom list view we need the definition of this custom list view in our activity so i can define it like this and Later, I will need item click. Item click is added here and the definition of that custom list view here. And uh, first we need to load that layout. So activity dot load layout and the name of this layout. And we can uh, load our items inside the custom list view, which is inside this layout. So let's create another sub for that. For example, let's name it load items. And we can define that sub here, sub load items. We need a for loop statement. So for i, which is equal to zero, to something like uh, 20 or 30. And we can out our items now. So custom list view dot add. If you want to add custom layout, you can use add, but if you need just one simple item with one text, you can use this one. I explained about add in my other tutorials. So I need a simple text. Item number. I can use this sign and I or I can use this one, which allows me to add something inside this string this way. And then I can close and add text item. It has a second parameter. We don't need it now, but we will use it later. So. I just leave it empty by, for example, empty string. 
Now let's see what happened. Okay, we have only our items without anything. Then we need to define this class inside this activity. So I can say private, let's stop the application. Private, we can name it something like swipe as the name of this class, which is custom list view swipe. So custom list view swipe. Like always, we need to define it. Uh, first, we need to define and then initialize, and then we use it here. So we need to initialize that before load items. So I can say swipe dot initialize. So let's see what we need. First, custom list view, and then callback, and then event name. So custom list view, let's type its name, which defined here, and then callback. Where do you want this swipe to work? Me, which refers to same activity itself. And one event name, normally we use the name of the variable itself. So I type swipe as the event name of this variable. Then we can use it here. Let's see what we have. Swipe, create item. This one. This way I can create those uh, buttons, delete and cancel. I need one value. You don't need it in this tutorial. And list, list of actions that you want to add to that item. And that is a list. So let's create that. For value, I just leave it empty. And for this one, I need one list, arrays of string, for example. So I can define one array and the name of those uh, buttons or those actions. I can say cancel and the other one delete. This way I can define my items and I can use them here. So let me cut them and add them here. It seems that there is something wrong. Uh, maybe this one. Oh yes, it says invalid number of parentheses. So it needs another one. Yes, now it's okay. I think now those action lists must be added. But it still it needs something. Let's see. Okay, there is an error here. The error is inside this class here. When it needs the color of each action button. So we need to define the color of each item. How to define that here. Swipe dot action colors this one and it needs a map so i can create a map inside this map i need to define one color for each of these action buttons and as you know to create a map we need one key and then colon and then value 
and then again key value like this and the value of each item is the name of that action button so I copy this and I can paste it here and I can copy this and I can paste it here and here I can use the color and the value of that action button how to define the color I can use it like this for example gray or if I want my project to be used for example in before I as well I can use uh, XUI variable so let's define it XUI as XUI and then here for example I can use XUI uh, for example yellow This way is a better practice compared to this one because this way my project will be more cross-platform. So let me use it here too. XUI gray color. Let's see. now I can have the list of action list but nothing happens we need to use one event which is here so one event is defined for this library for this class and I want to use it to define the role of each action list so I create another sub. What is the name of this sub here? Swipe. Underline. And I can paste that text which I copied here. Okay. Now let's log index and action text. Log index. And let's log action text too. Action text. Okay, let's see what happens and what we have. Okay, and I click on delete. Index is six and the action text is delete. For example, this one, cancel index is zero so index is zero one two three four five six seven eight and the action text is cancel well i want to remove that if the user clicked on delete so i can say a custom list view dot remove at and we can use index very simple isn't it and let's save that for example i want to use the this one i swipe it to left and i click on delete that one is deleted but as you know it doesn't matter whether i click on cancel or delete again that one is deleted so now i can use action text so if action text is equal to that is string and that is let me copy from here then then you are allowed to delete that item so let's see cancel again I have number six but if I click on that one is deleted but if you want to give it a kind of animation while deleting that item 
you can do something like this. First, we need to access that item to be able to give a kind of animation to that. So let me create one item variable. As I explained in previous tutorial, as um, custom list view item. Custom list view by get raw list item, I can have access to each item of that custom list view and it needs one index and it returns this variable which we defined that already. So let's give it the index. Now I have that item and I can do whatever I want. For example, I want to give it a kind of visible animation to the panel of that item. Panel dot set visible animation. This one in its duration, for example, 700 you have 700 milliseconds time to make it invisible. So I need to make it false. To be able to see this animation, we need to use sleep like this to be able to see that animation. So let's see, for example, delete. Yes, it works. But now if that is open, I want to close that when I start scrolling. But it doesn't close that one. We can add that like this. We need to go to that layout and we can use scroll. Uh, this one, scroll changed here and here. We can say close the previous swipe. So we say swipe dot close last swipe. Let's copy that and paste that here. Okay, let's run it for the last time. Let me swipe to left and then I click on another item and I swipe to left, then I start scrolling up. Yes, it works. Just one last point. For example, if you want to change the text color or for example, you want to add something, more customization, uh, you can use, let's find that here, action buttons, where you create those items. You can add your codes here for more customization. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you liked my video, please hit on that like button. Thank you for watching this tutorial.